Good morning, terrific Tuesday to you. Welcome to the daily reading for October 6th. This is my second day doing a video like this where I'm basically inviting you into my own personal space of devotion where I do incorporate the Sunday School Daily Readings as a part of my meditation and prayer time. Now, I told you these videos would be authentic, so I woke up like this. I do have my coffee over here. My voice is waking up. But what I wanted to share with you is just sort of how I engage and interact with the readings. Um, I don't really offer these videos for any sort of theological critique. They are not intense Bible studies, but literally it's like an electronic version of my journal where I am sharing what I've already written uh, with um, what I got from today's passage or sort of how it sits with me. So um, here we go for today. We are looking at Matthew chapter 5 verses 38 through 42. I read from my She Reads uh, Truth Bible, which I showed you yesterday. I do uh, like it quite a bit. And um, verses 38 through 42 are, this um, reading is about responding to unwanted demands, responding to unwanted demands inside of our lesson title about loving your enemies. I recognize this passage and our lesson from previous studies on the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus is teaching us to live differently from the world. It is interesting that our default isn't different. It isn't God's standard. This section in my Bible is labeled, go the second mile. When Jesus speaks, that we are, when Jesus speaks, we are not receiving sweet suggestions, but rather commands for how we should live. By nature, we tend to want to seek our own self, sense of what is fair and just. And in a weird way, we are never satisfied, which keeps us in a tit for tat cycle with others. Jesus says, if anyone, anyone does these things, and in light of our lesson, I have to think about enemies being anyone too. This isn't going to be easy, but we are required to do it. What I see is most is that I get to decide my own behavior toward others. I also know that this higher standard of living only happens with God's presence and his help. And this has to be a core personal value to truly become my default response. Woo, this kind of living ain't easy, but it is kingdom. Sunday school is life. Ah, don't even, don't try to get even is what Jesus is saying. As a personal, a very personal reflection, I know that I don't seek to get even, but I have and can be guilty of wanting the other person to know how it feels to be hurt. I guess that's in the same family of response as wanting ill for someone else. So I'll just say, ouch. From a leadership perspective, Jesus doesn't just talk, but he illuminates his teaching with three examples. He tells stories. He uses examples or illustrations that people can understand. This is a great teaching help. The three examples are being hit, being sued, and being made to carry a lo heavy load. Today, I'll pray for and think about my personal response system. And oh, my lesson connection is that this is the same printed text um, that we have from the chapter in Luke, chapter six in Luke. We just see it from the perspective of another writer being Matthew. All right, so that's my reflection. Uh, yes, tell me something down below in these videos. Uh, I'm going to be looking for responses, and that's how I'll know if these are things that I should continue. So just leave me one bullet down below about your personal reflection, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great Tuesday. Bye-bye.